It's a great day to have a good day. I'm Frankly, your chief mischief maker, and here is the president of the Fun Club. I'm Holly Hill with your morning announcement. Attention, all students, tomorrow is school picture day. Bring those smiles and make it cheesy. But don't touch it. Ugh. All school pictures will happen in the school cafeteria after the last bell of the day. And remember, if you forget to smile, we'll have a team of clowns on standby to help tickle you until you do it right. All right, Fregly, don't say that. Moving on. For today's lunch, we're saying farewell to our cheesy dippers. No! What about the marinara sauce? I know, Fregly, but we've got something equally exciting today because we're bringing back our black bean salsa, dinner roll, golden corn niblets, assorted fruit toy, and milk. Now, it's time for your sports update. Well, congratulations to our yodeling team. They brought home the gold this weekend with their amazing performance. Who knew we had such talented yodelers right here in our school? Yodeling! 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 You're not on the yodeling team. I am. I've been practicing. They're, they're going to get me one day. Just wait. Remember, students, if you see your yodeling team, give them a big high five and maybe ask for, I don't know, a yodeling lesson. Who knows? You might be the next yodeling superstar. Okay, so remember, folks, it's this like this. You just say yo and then hoover like super high pitching. Here, everyone uh, try it. No, try it. okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Fregly. Oh, no worries. Anytime. And on that note, let's go ahead and let's jump into today's Top Secret story. story. This one is about a woman who felt lost and alone, who found herself, well, uh, uh, at a well. Let's dive into it. Okay, so picture this. It's a hot, sunny day, and a woman goes to a well to draw water. But she doesn't go in the morning when it's cool. No, she goes at noon, the hottest part of the day, because she feels embarrassed and ashamed. Yeah, she had made some mistakes in her life and didn't want to face the whispers and judgment from all the other people in her town. So she thought it was easier just to avoid everyone. Well, hey, I get it. No, Fregby, but ah. this day was different. When she gets to the well, she meets Jesus. Wait, wait, like the Jesus? The Jesus. Hey, viewers, everyone say Jesus. See that. He asked her for a drink of water and she was shocked. You see, back then, people like Jesus didn't usually talk to people like her. Talk about an unexpected encounter. She was probably thinking, why is this guy talking to me? <laughs> exactly, Frankly. But Jesus wasn't just any guy. He knew everything about her. Her past, her mistakes, and, and her feelings. Yet, he didn't judge her. Instead, he offered her something amazing, living water. Oh, living water, huh? Are we talking about the sunny, Aquafina, Fiji, no. no. Ocean Spring, oh, not the quite. other one? Stop it, Frankly. Oh, the one from the Britain folder? <sighs> not quite. This wasn't regular water, but a symbol of eternal life and God's love. Whoa, that's deep. And here's the cool part, boys and girls. She didn't just see her mistakes. He saw her heart and offered her hope and courage. That's right. Jesus told her that he was the Messiah, the one that everyone had been waiting for. This gave the woman incredible courage. She left her water jar and ran back to the town to tell everyone about Jesus. Deeper, can you imagine that? She went from avoiding people to running through the streets, sharing her story with everyone. That's some serious courage. That's right. This story shows us that no matter how ashamed or alone we may feel, Jesus sees us differently. He knows our story and offers us grace and courage to change. So, Holly Hill, you're saying that we can find courage in Jesus? You got it, Fergie. When life gets tough, just like the woman at the well, we can find strength in knowing that Jesus loves us and wants to give us a fresh start. Oh, the sweet sound! You know what time it is, students! It's reminder time! And today's reminder is, when I feel embarrassed, God gives me courage! Oh, that's a good one, and it's important too. 
Before we continue on with the school day, let's say it together. Say, when, when I, I feel embarrassed, God gives me courage. They got it down. Hey, make sure it's a great day today, Hills kids. Amen to that, Holly Hills. Until next time, stay brave and keep smiling. See you next week. Bye. You're late, 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 you